Hey, what's up? It's Christian Hermita here, back with a filmmaking DSLR or YouTube video tutorial. So, I know many of you guys are also trying to make videos either for clients, for yourself, you're doing vlogs, vlogs, um, all sorts of stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys how to get the best quality for uploading to the web and also optimizing for TV playback. As we know, plenty of people are watching YouTube and Vimeo and all that. Uh, on their TVs now. So we're in Premiere Pro and um, these settings should generally apply to uh, any program that you may be using, um, at least if it's a professional application uh, and I define professional very loosely. So we'll jump in here and we'll go ahead and go to File, Export, Media and I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5 but these same settings are available in Final Cut Pro 7 Final Cut X, um, Sony Vegas, etc, etc. So we'll go ahead and load up our exporting dialog box here. Okay, so now we are in the export settings here and you can see um, on the side here we got all this information, audio, FTP, multiplexer, filters, what does it all mean? Well, basically filter, well, there's really not much you can do with filter. Uh, I really don't even know why it's there. Uh, multiplexer, basically leave it at MP4 or the standard uh, one that it comes in. We'll go over that a little bit later. Video, audio, and FTP for file uh, direct upload. So what we're really concerned here with is this, the format. So you want to export into H.264 uh, codec or you can uh, export into, let's see here, MPEG. MPEG2 if you're going for uh, you know HD video uh, specifically for like an HD TV or something but for web video that's generally good for both watching on the TV and for streaming you want to use H.264 and the reason is that because a lot of people are shooting on DSLRs H.264 uh, is a standard native codec for many DSLRs so if you're shooting on a DSLR like I am or any other type of camera you know a small point and shoot camera like a Canon S100 even I believe the iPhone 4 or 4S can shoot an H.264 uh, so this is a standard nowadays um, and even other formats like your standard uh, camcorder uh, like your Canon Vixia series, uh, Sony those are all shooting in what's called AVC HD and that works really well when transcoded into H.264 so the basic settings are here I don't want to bore you too much but basically if you're shooting 1080p you want to have it set to 1920 at 1080 or 720 or whatever you're shooting at that's all standard I'm assuming you're aware of that um, but the thing that you really really want to pay attention to here is a target bit rate so if you see here uh, HDTV it's a little bit too big uh, for a web video it's a whopping 1.2 gigabytes or 1000 megabytes um, so what you're going to want to do is set this target bit rate way, way down low to something around 11 to, I would say, no more than 17, uh, depending on how long your video is. But definitely the ballpark of 11 to 15 will give you a really, really nice quality file that looks very, very close to the original imaging. You can barely tell. Uh, now another thing you want to pay attention to is making sure your frame rate is correct You don't want to be slowing down anything unless if that is your purpose and Also the level uh, you want to have it at 4.2 4.1 something like that But I generally leave it at 4.2 make sure the uh, pi pixel aspect ratio is 6, 6 to 9 so you can retain you know that HD uh, widescreen um, format that it was recorded in and I usually like to check use maximum render quality uh, so that way it will render better and it may take longer depending on your machine but it will work out better for you in the long run. So if quality is a huge issue for you make sure you have this box checked and it could be worded differently on other uh, uh, non-linear editing programs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial here for exporting your videos for the web and for optimizing on TV playback. If you like this video don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and check out hermitatech.com for more info. Until next time this is Christian Hermita your personal tech guy and I'll see you in the next episode of Hermita Tech.